Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Brett Stone. I'm a software consultant with Walters Kluwer in the Client and Professional Services Department. Today we'll be talking about CCH Access Portal, our integrated version. And in this brief video, we'll be talking about creating portals using the batch method. So where you want to begin is logged into CCH Access. You want to be in the dashboard under configuration. There's an item under portal for settings and defaults. If you click settings and defaults, that'll take you into that area of the dashboard. And once we're in there, we can look at batch portal creation on the left-hand side. To create multiple portals at once for multiple clients, what we wanna do is click on browse for clients. Select the clients for which you want to create these portals. So I'm gonna select three clients right here. Once you do that, you can use the top portion of the screen here to select options that you can apply to multiple portals at the same time. So you can select your folder template. I'm going to keep my default template at the moment. You can select a file expiration period uh, for, for when files will be automatically removed from the portal and go to the recycle bin. So for example, I might choose three and I'll use the file expiration unit of years. You also want to select the firm users and these are actually the firm approvers. Remember for integrated portals, since it's integrated with document, each portal needs to have at least one person in the firm that is a portal approver. He or she will be responsible for uh, reviewing and accepting the files into the document database. So you can select everybody or you can choose specific individuals for the portals that you'd like to use. I'll leave everybody selected. Be sure to select the active box so that your portals are actually turned on and your clients receive the welcome emails and such. The client area of the portal is not something that uh, many clients will uh, utilize or take advantage of. So I'm going to go ahead and not talk about that for this particular video. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and select all of the clients on the left hand side, then choose a apply to selected. That'll move all of the options up above to these selected portals. And then once you're down here, you can actually make changes. So if you want to change the expiration period for a particular portal, if you want to go ahead and change the um, approvers for a particular portal, you can go ahead and do that. Um, it's, it's make any change that you want. Once you're all set, one of the important things is, is you need to have a portal admin email address. Every single portal must have a client contact uh, known as the portal admin. You can use the drop down arrow and if the email address has been entered into the uh, client area of CCH Access, the client manager, you can go ahead and choose that. You can even make a change to that um, address if you'd like to at this time. Once you're all set, you go ahead and click Evaluate Portal Data up here at the top. When I click Evaluate Portal Data, you'll notice that Adam's Audio still has uh, some type of error. When you click on the X, it tells you what that error is. I've got an invalid portal administrator address. So I'm going to go ahead and put in an email address in here for my client. I'm going to go ahead and select Evaluate Portal Data. Now that I have three green status icons, I can then do the final step and click Continue Portal Creation. Your portals will have been created. All right. So thank you everyone for joining me for today's video. I hope you got a lot out of it and learned from it. For additional training resources, click the link below to visit our training and consulting webpage.